Lovelies, it's Rebecca, back for day 24 of our creative daily practice. And today we're going to talk about tip-ins in books. That's adding a page here or there. And I'm going to give you a really good hack about how to use something from your kitchen instead of vellum. Okay, so let's just get started. And this is my hack. As you can see, this is just a um, the waxy kind of paper that cereal comes in. We've already done something else with a cereal box earlier on. We made a window. And now we're going to use the inside parts of it after the cereal is gone. And we are going to create a little tip-in page, or a page that goes in your book that wasn't in there to begin with, with that cereal paper. <laughs> For I don't know what else to call it. So anyway, I have already trimmed this. I just took it apart, of course, and I put clamps around it on one of the pages I tore out of the book, and that helps me get the size. I cut it with straight scissors on these three sides, and then I cut it with our little decorative, little scalloped scissors on the edges. It didn't do beautifully, it made it kind of ragged, but I love it like that. So let me get this close and show you that raggedness. Hopefully, I'll get my hand under there. Maybe that will help a little bit better to show you the raggedness. Okay, so that's all I did. Make sure you clamp it, because if you don't clamp it well, it will um, move on you and be tricky. I promise you. And I'm going to show you something else to do with that sheet. But you can see, this is the crinkly part. If you're careful with your bags you can get them so they're not so crinkly but I kind of like that crinkly effect so it's kind of up to you how you want your tip in to look so what I'm gonna do is take um, my watercolor floral that I did those dip dot flowers we did earlier and I am going to glue that onto this page and you have a couple of options here you could actually make this a tip in kind of page if you want by just attaching it out here on the sides you could use some of that uh, polka dotted tape we did that works well or you can glue it or use the wonderful little uh, tape runner too so you have some options there. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and place this on the page. So let me get my glue paper out here. And I want to talk, I want to make sure I get glue everywhere. So I want to talk a little bit about that. And I always kind of go from the middle outward when you're gluing. That kind of works best and you can hold it up against your light to see if you've gotten every place or if you've missed a spot. And you get sticky fingers sometimes. But that's the best way to do it is from the inside to the outer edges. So I'm gonna come in here and kind of Center this up on my page. Press it down with my hand. And when I get toward the back of the book, I usually lift this side up to make sure that I get really good contact. And I'm going to go ahead and burnish that down. pretty good. All right, so let me show you the trick for gluing this tip in. in. So you, we've got a straight edge here, so what I'm going to do is put this piece of paper up against just about 
I guess about a quarter of an inch, I think, is what that is. Put that up there, and this is gonna block out any glue, and I'm only gonna get glue right on that edge right there. So that's another gluing trick. But that makes a really good tip in just to have that one part right there. And again, I like to use this dry glue stick kind of stuff for this. Move that out of the way. And I'll come in here. And let me bring this over to hold my book up. And I am just going to come in and get that as careful as I can and as close to the middle as I can and as close to centered as I can and place that in there and burnish it really well and again you can burnish with a, um, a little credit card. You don't need to have the bone folder. Just make sure that is in there very well. Get this out of the way. And there you can see that we have this wonderful little tip-in page. And isn't that cool? <laughs> I think that's cool. It saves a whole lot of money to go ahead and use the bags out of the, whoops, that didn't glue too well, did it? You should let this sit for a while before you start playing with it. Note to sell. It's a little fragile right now because the glue is still not dry, but it will be okay once that perfectly dries. And at this point in time, you can come in here if you would like, and you can accent some things with a marker over top here if you want to draw some more around the flower, if you want to add a word or something on here or a phrase. That might be cool, it's anything. So I hope I have given you a whole lot of stuff. We're coming toward the end of this month and the end of our book. And we're gonna be, do I'm gonna be showing you just a couple of more interior things. So I kind of challenge you over the weekend to go ahead and finish most of your pages or at least get a good start on them because sometimes a, an altered book can go on for a long time. Sometimes you can come back. I've come back even years and months later and found some little bit of something that I thought, oh, that would have been perfect in that altered book, and I will come in and find a place to put it. So it's kind of always a work in progress, and it's kind of always fun. So what I challenge you to do this weekend, if you have some extra time, is go ahead and work on some of your extra pages using some of the techniques we've already done. I think I'm going to show you two more new techniques over the next few days, and then we're going to start working on the cover. Yay! That's, that's the really, really fun part. So start thinking about what colors and what you want that cover to say or express because that's that's going to be important over the next week so anyway this is rebecca and i wish you a creative day i believe in you and i believe in your creativity and i believe in our contagious creativity as we work together in 2020 so I'm signing out for today. May peace be with you all.